Ali Spargo loves the high free kick. I'm not for it, but I'll take it. Lining up from the pocket, it's gonna take his best effort. Come on, Sparks! Good boy! Go, Jays! It's match day. It's been match day for about four hours and 45 minutes. Um, just hopped in the car, about to drive to Dill's house. We're gonna hop in his car and we're gonna flee to the border. We are going to the Port Adelaide Football Club taking on the D's. Adelaide Oval Thursday night footy. Impromptu trip, impromptu trip. We, um, we worked it all out on a Tuesday. Um, confirmed it all on a Wednesday, got accommodation and whatnot, and now we're on our way to Adelaide Oval. Super excited, massive contest. It feels like a finals type atmosphere. It's going to take us eight hours to get there. So, um, yeah, I better head to Noonies and let's kick this thing off. Come on, boys. All right, I'm here with Noon, we're on our way to Adelaide. Adelaide! <laughs> um, just getting a coffee, a bean squeeze. Get the caffeine in, tick the body over, and then it's about five o'clock now, so in about 12 hours, we'll be looking okay. at Adelaide Oval, if not wandering in. Um, We've got a couple of, uh, couple of four hours since ahead of us, us boys, and then we'll be there. A couple of hours into the drive, and we're on some, where are we? We're on like this off road, sort of beaten track at the minute. Um, sun, going past a couple of grain farms. A couple of grain farms. The sun's just starting to come up. We're sort of near Ararat. It was a chilly, uh, nice fresh one degrees just a second ago out here in the country. Yeah, it was freezing. Um, do you reckon we're a quarter of the way? Uh, I was somewhere. We've been driving for about a bit over an hour and a half, so I'm going to say no. Is there any at a cafe in Ararat? That'd be a side bowl. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Good. <laughs> what have you had for? What have you had for Frankie? That's a sausage. That was that was that was, that was back on. <laughs> you take it off there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a nice uh, lovely bacon and egg uh, pie, followed by a snag roll. We are at Wax Bakery in Ararat at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. So thank you for your services. Had a quick pit stop. We got a quick. Quiz. <laughs> Quick little break and we'll be on the road shortly. We're through the border. We are Jeez, now sweating. in South Australia. Sweating. Jeez, it makes you feel like um, in the cartel trying to cross the Mexican border there. It gets quite nerve wracking. We could have easily been in the cartel and we would be getting through. Here we are. Welcome ah. to South Australia en route to Adelaide. All right, we have arrived in the city of churches. We are here in Adelaide absolutely pumped to be here we're here a lot earlier than what we expected to be we've uh we've done some very very good time here um so yeah happy days we're gonna go to the apartment have a bit of a chill and then maybe go for a bit of an exploration considering we got about six hours before the d's take on the so, power uh, maybe maybe a couple of shardy bees <laughs> plenty of shardy bees oh it's party atmosphere Nearly game time and the pair's showing up for a couple of bevs. How are you, the pair? Good, mate. How are you? Travelling well, travelling well. We're hey, up and about. We're more than up and about. It's, <laughs> it's getting very dangerous. It's getting very silly here at the G. But um, how, how are you feeling about your boys tonight? Fully confident. It's I rate that. we got Zach Butters back. Zach Butters, he's lethal. He's lethal, he's to be lethal. fair. Where can the D's expose you? Where, where can we get it done? The rain First quarter. <laughs> First if we don't show up, that's it. We're done. We never show up till about three quarter time and then we try and peg back a score. So it could be a, a dodgy game. It could be a boring game for three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of the result though, we've got some plans for later on. So yeah, It's um, going to be a very entertaining <laughs> after game <laughs> function. <laughs> Despite me and Noon having to drive back tomorrow, We'll, we'll deal with that tomorrow. I'm going straight back to work from here. <laughs> On our way to Adelaide Oval, we've just left the apartment. Spirits are high, boys. Woo! We are. We, we're vibing. It's chilly. It's very, very chilly. I could be walking jacket today. Yeah, jacket was a good call, boys. Dill was wearing my 2021 membership scarf. It's been ripped off his neck. We were walking some past some of the Port Adelaide promo girls. I showed the D, the D scarf to meant like I didn't need anything that will, that will, that will serve him. Next minute, something got ripped off my shoulder, turned around, 
wasn't there. Some random old codger goes, oh yeah, I think it's back there up on the pedestal. Yeah, get yeah, you said you'd, you said you'd protect us, mate. You said you'd protect us. I do not endorse anything that happens to these two blokes tonight. It's nothing to do with the Port Adelaide family. It's purely these drongos on the bridge. No, I don't mind it. it, it it's good banter. It's good banter. Um, <laughs> you do mind it. You're cut. <laughs> I'm a little bit cut. I love that scarf. I um, blame you, Mark. Look. I'm cut for you. That's shocking. Regardless, that that's I like that though. You've got to intimidate the away fans, and that's what's just happened. Um, the pair, we're not sitting with you, unfortunately. I think we're meeting up after the game, but yeah. I'll get your tip for the game tonight. Who do you think's going to win? Obviously, the Port Adelaide Footy Club, but by how much? Uh, Port by eight tonight. It's going to be a close one, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens because this is a big clash. Is Fever Pitch? We've lost a scarf. But we're here to support the Ds, and you've given a bit of a doubt to them all. Fever pitch atmosphere here at Adelaide Oval. Noonie, we are in the thick of the cheers club. I think um, I'm the wrong person to be holding a tea set. We've been given a flag eight. It is a packed Adelaide Oval Thursday night football. We're in the middle of the Ds cheers club. Who are you, who are you tipping? Dees because we want Port to be knocked out of the fourth at all. I'm tipping Dees. I'm going big. I'm going the Dees by 35. Come on, Frida! Come on, Dees! Pretty even start to the first term. It's nerve wracking, it's intense. Dogger takes a good contested mark inside 50. And he's having the shot on goal. Come on, Dogger. Yes! Yes! Yes, Dogger! Come on, Luke Jackson. You start. The pair have two in a row. Ollie Wines, I reckon, threw it on the boot, and so did Carl Amon. So, a couple of Scrubby type efforts, good defence so far, but uh, yeah, a couple of sort of efforts you can't really stop, I don't think. Great atmosphere, I, can, I cannot. This is good, this is, this is as good as it gets. It's just good to be here. It is I, good. I, as a two person who doesn't support either of the teams, <laughs> it's just great to be here. <laughs> it is good. Come on, D, has got a lift down by Gaspargo, loves the high free kick. I'm not for it, but I'll take it. Lining up from the pocket, gonna take his best effort. Come on, Sparks! Quarter time at Adelaide Oval and the days still haven't got the leather poisoning yet. We, still we were close. We were, we were close. close. You were starting to contest me when Tommy yeah, Mack kicked I it over. I was going. I, I, want, I want to give you a bit of bit, 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 bit of bump, bump. Um, the days. It was looking a little bit worrying because they had some really good goals. Carl Amon on the left. Ollie Wines out of the pack, I believe it was. Yeah, he dominated that quarter. They got in front, but I thought we dominated the territory. I thought we had a couple more chances potentially. Took our chances towards the end of the quarter, and we're up by a goal. Really yeah. close game at Adelaide Oval. Now we're going to have the big, uh, big Charlie Dixon down here, and I wonder if, uh, how much our torment he can play. I reckon Charlie Dixon will hit us up. I reckon he's the man that'll hit us on the tip. Uh, the D's are up by a goal here at Adelaide Oval. Come on, great start. It's the start we needed. Midway through the second. Ozzy has been a little bit quiet the last couple of weeks, but he's dogged one from 45. Jeez, D's out to a 13 point lead. It's a good start, it's a good start, but we can't let up. We've got to keep putting the pressure on. Cozzy's yeah. gotten 50, he got tackled after he marked it. He'll kick from the goal square to give us a 26 point lead at the half. He's kicked two, Cozzy Pickett. Charlie Dixon got a free right on half time. This to reduce it to 19 points at the half. I think that would be a little bit unjust. The D's have been very, very good. But nevertheless, Charlie Dixon has an opportunity to answer back. Charlie lines up, he leans back, and he kicks it. Half time here at Adelaide Oval, and it's all happening, dude. Um, it's been a good contest to start the game. A couple of CCs. A couple of CCs. Stephen May has been outrageously good. Jake Lieb has been enormous. Second half is about to kick off. We lead by 19. Nice late goal to Charlie Dixon. It's massive. Come on, Deeds. Come on, Frida. Come on, Deeds. 
Georgiadis has just taken an absolute screamer. And you're sitting on Gorn oh, too. Oh my lord. That's enormous. There's a big screen there. Lining up to kick two in a row for the Port Adelaide Footy Club. He's missed it. Geez, they kicked the last one of the last quarter, and to kick the first or the third would have been huge. He's taken a big hang, but hasn't quite converted. Dees needs to settle up. On Gorn. It was enormous. I don't know if I said at the start of the game, I don't know if it's on record, but I said we usually clamp down on the likely forward, like a Charlie Dixon, but we are susceptible to a third or Toddy second Mar forward Toddy getting Marshall. off the chain. Georgiadis is lighting up this third turn. This will raise the roof. All the momentum with the power, Georgiadis. He's kicked it. Two in a row to the pair. Georgie Artis for three port snags in a row. The D's have missed some chances to reduce it to nine points. Sure, well, he's going to kick this. He's from point blank. Power back in it. Three quarter time here in Adelaide Oval. The D's lead by 22 points. The power were coming very strong in that third term. But they held off with a couple of late goals to Tommy Mack. I think, yeah, I don't want to say it, but you look like you, you're in the right, uh, right spot for to get this game home. I think Ben Brown being in the side is the reason Tom McDonald can get off the chain and kick two late ones. Me, personally, I think he looks lost, but you're right, he does take another key defender. I agree. Yep. He, he does look a little bit lost in the forward line. Uh, he's not... But yeah, frees up team a bit. He's not in sync as... Like a dog or a Tommy Mack, but he takes a defender and Tommy McDonald's getting off the chain, so. Where's a uh, big question? Where's Weed going next year? The, the Weed is going straight to full forward, full pre season, fit and firing. I back the Weed in. Without. Who do you lose? Bailey Fritch. Nah, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Big last term coming up. The D's lead by 22 points. This would be unbelievable if they get over the line. Come on. Petrarca waltzes in and kicks the sealer. This has been an enormous day at the office for me and Nooney. It's been a good time. And we're getting the just desserts. This has been awesome. Come on, Dees. Lead by... Thank, thank you, Dees, for bringing along on the top four. Thank you. Lead by 29. Start of the last. This is awesome. Come on, Dees. Finish it off. Cosy Pickett slots one and we're home. We're home here at Adelaide Oval. And there are Frackers. There are Frackers potentially bubbling away. Left, right. Couple minutes to go, Nooney. Security the trip has is getting been involved. worth it for you. I can't believe they're going to do it. I can't believe we've come all this way and they've got the job done. Struggled against Essendon, couldn't get it done against Collingwood and GWS. What a performance this has been. I'm actually, uh, I'm very impressed with you back with your, your performance tonight. This has been unreal. I, uh, I am soaking this up. This is unbelievable. I'm very, I'm very keen for the next John, uh, John Dees match. I reckon it'll be, it'll be awesome. Well, I'm, I'm not keen because Geelong will probably beat us by 180 points. But <laughs> it's a bit of a let up that we haven't got, uh, we haven't got Cameron to at least take lever out of the action a little bit. I think he'll be back for that, but. Um, Jeez, what a response by the Melbourne Footy Club tonight. Yeah, 40, po 40 points away, uh, one of the most hostile uh, environments possible, I think. Adelaide Oval, potentially the best atmosphere I've ever seen. Yeah, it's been good. Eight hours in the car. Come all the way to Adelaide Oval. And they've bloody done it. Come on, Dees. Every heart beats true for the red and the blue as we sing this song to you. Well done, lads! Yes, boys! Well done, Benny Brown! And we're getting welcome, guys, back to Dossa's YouTube, and we are safe and out of the. Out of well, the uh, we're not safe yet. <laughs> we're out in the middle of the streets. Look at the pants!
him in with his right now. We, we got the pair. Yeah, you think I'm safe. <laughs> you're both in danger. <laughs> you just lure us back. Oh, yeah, we're, well, you're we're, bait. we're under a false sense of security being with the pair, but he could be the one that turns on us. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think we're crossing the bridge? He could be luring us. <laughs> um, Jeez, what a result. The D's back against the wall, needed to respond after a couple of lame performances. Came up against a very ominous power outfit who pushed us for about three and a half quarters, or two and a half quarters. I thought they pushed us, but the D's were good enough to get over the line. Pear, how did you see it? Um, we just couldn't get our game going tonight. It was, you know, a bit of, a bit tough under pressure the whole night, and our entries inside 50 cost us. I think it was like 38% we were going at, so... Does it help when, Does the, when the old power pepper gives away 50 metres? Oh, three shot. kicks to you. Didn't get the efforts out of Butters, it looks like he's injured as well, so that's... Is Butters, is Butters the one that went out? Yeah. Oh, oh, we're wondering that. He was all going right too. Yeah, it sucks, but... Oh well. I mean, it, it was a tough trip to come from Albert and then all the way to Adelaide over. And <laughs> for a moment like that. So. How far did you drive to get here? About 20 minutes. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It didn't quite count. Now we're, hours, <laughs> now we're heading to that beast. That, that's my mate. Can I see that? We're on. Now we are off to the <laughs> casino. The Bullshit, we're off. We're going to have a couple of quiet ones at the casino. Adelaide Oval was unbelievable. The atmosphere was unreal. Um, I'm going to wrap up the vlog there, guys. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone that watched. We're down one scarf, but we're up four points. We'll take it.